Hello! Welcome to the first day of December. It's again Christmas time. So I'll be starting with making a Christmas card. So this is a 5 by 4 inches white card base. And I'll be using this 8 by 8 paper and some scrapbook elements, Christmas theme. So there's a cute Santa there. And we'll just be choosing our paper. I think I'll choose a, a rather neutral color for this one so that the Santa will pop out. So this is like a light beige. I like the G clef sign there. So I think I'll be using that in my card. When do you usually make your Christmas cards or prepare them to be given during the Christmas season? Well, me, I'm just kind of late this year. This is actually the first card that I've made for this season. I'm just estimating the size of the card here because I hate measuring. And I was not happy with the cutter, so I'm using this Kaiser Craft tool, cutting tool, to give me a straight edge. This has been with me for around 13 years or 14 years already. And this is the first time that I've shown this on video. Well, because I did not bring this in the dormitory when I was living there. So I really love this. And I'm not sure anymore if I can have or buy cartridges for this one. Since this is already an old model. Using this scrapbook element from Craft Express, I'll be using the almost the whole set. The Santa, the Christmas tree, and the tag. This was an old stock already. Because before I like buying craft materials, craft supplies, but I don't get to use them all up. So they usually end up in the shelf collecting dust this is so old already around five to ten years ago that the adhesive of the foam sticker at the back is already gone i think that's just the right placement of the santa i placed a new foam tape at the back of this santa's coming red tag off cam so it will stick to the card and for this Christmas tree, I think the one of the crystal elements fell down. So later, I'll be putting a glue on it also. So this one, I'm using Sakura Quick Glue Pen. So our top card is already done. We will now proceed to the card base and stamp our sentiment. I just get my ruler and my pencil so I can put a line guide to make it straight. And I'll be using this clear stamp, Holiday Sentiments. I'll be using the Holly Jolly Clear Sentiment. Mounting my base card and and putting it in place using posit tape. Here I'm aligning the sentiment using the pencil line guide. And then I'll be using a color box black ink for this one. Using my 1 inch double-sided tape, I'm sticking it onto the four sides of the base white card with the stamped sentiment. 
Let me just align this to the base card. Carefully sticking it. And we'll just trim out the edges to give it a more clean look. And I think we're done. But I think I'm missing something at the top. So I took this Jolly's Boutique Happy Holiday Sentiment and we'll be placing it on the top. So I think this basically completed the Christmas card. I think it's okay being this is the first Christmas card I made for this season. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And please watch my other YouTube videos. Bye-bye!